everyone. Welcome back to another keto mukbang. Tonight we are doing Philly steak and cheese keto style. And let's do the movie Cujo. Welcome back everyone to another keto mukbang. It is so good to see each and every one of you again. And what I have tonight, this is the first time I've ever done this, but I came up with another idea. How about we have Philly steak and cheese, but instead of the bread, let's put it on a pepper. Good idea, right? Like Rocky would say, awesome idea. <laughs> um, but what I got here is net carb, and I'll go through it with you. I have got a small to medium pepper, which would be four carbs, one cup of the cauliflowered rice, what makes it, which would make it another carb, that's five. And then I have got like a tablespoon and a half of onion. I teach you guys onions are very high in carbs, so I just have a little bit of yellow onion. That's another carb, so there's the six. And what made it the seven is my fourth cup of mozzarella cheese. You can go without the cheese, but I want my cheese, and one more carb is not gonna knock you out of ketosis. That is okay, especially once in a while. So I'm excited about this one. Never thought to do a Philly steak and cheese. And I have seasoned my stuff with butter, a little bit of butter. And then I put on some seasoned salt, some onion and garlic powder. And I cooked up my steak in olive oil. And the steak, I did very thin cut uh, pieces. They come eight in a pack at Walmart. I have pictures and you'll see it at the end. Um, I took four slices of it. You know, they're like thin slices you put like on a sandwich to make a Philly steak and cheese. But I've cut mine and you could just buy the, the stir fry pieces too. But I've cut mine up and chunked it up and put it inside. And there was a little bit, of course, left over on the side of the ingredients that I made to stuff in the pepper. The pepper isn't that big. So I just figured I'd stuff it. And then the rest I would just put to the side. When I cut up the pepper, I'll just mix everything together, right? Delish. I'm so excited about this one. And I'm just drinking water tonight. I have filled up a Powerade Zero bottle with water and just put it in the freezer so it was cold for dinner. And the movie we are doing is a Stephen King's classic horror movie, Cujo. And Cujo is the dog here. It's a St. Bernard. And what this is based on is a husband and wife are struggling with their marriage, trying to keep their marriage together. And he's away on business and they've got a, a car that needs repairs. So the mom and the son, the young son, go to this farm where it's their mechanic to have their car fixed. And when she gets there, she barely makes it there and the car stops right there. But the, the farmer, the mechanic that works on the stuff there is not there. So, and they can't get a hold of him. And she is stuck in this car because their St. Bernard that used to be a very loving dog and this little boy in here loved that dog has turned mad because a snake or a spider, I can't remember, bit the dog. So, of course, now the dog is like dementic and just de demonic or whatever and just a really awful dog. You cannot get out of the car. This dog will rip you apart. And so they're in this really hot car. The little boy, I think, is diabetic. I'm not sure, but he starts to go like into a coma. It is so hot in the car, they can't get out. She's got it cracked a little bit, but the dog keeps coming up, you know, messing with the window and stuff. And they can't get out of this vehicle and they don't know what to do. So um, I can't, of course, tell you the ending, but you see what happens at the end. It's just an amazing movie. Of course, Stephen King makes great movies, but um, just... Thought I would share this one with you guys. Thought, hey, let's spice it up a little bit and do a Stephen King's thriller, Cujo. Hopefully it'll go up. Um, I won't have too many clips in here, so I know for sure it'll go up then, or hopefully it will. If not, like always, I'll have an alternate ending. But let's get the movie going and let's get eaten. I'm pretty excited about this meal here because, like I said, I have never made this one before. So make sure the volume isn't too high. All right. So, how is everyone doing? I hope you guys are enjoying these. Oh my God, I'm just having so much fun coming up with all these fun keto ideas. It has been just awesome for me. Because like I said, I kept everything so simple in the beginning. Now, this meal here is a little bit higher fat. So, what I recommend for people that want to have this, you can have it. Just skip the uh, steak if you want to and replace it with ground turkey or chicken. It would still be a, a Philly, um, a Philly. It would just be Philly chicken and, you know, and onion, or it would be um, ground turkey Philly. So either way, but that would be lower lean meat, but you could have the steak because they're pretty thin pieces, but don't use, um, I used butter. I would skip the butter in the rice 
you can just use like a sauce if you want to maybe a little bit of uh, hot sauce in it to give it a little bit more flavor and some more seasoning. And then I also would um, either go without the cheese or make sure you use the mozzarella because it is lower in fat. So, but definitely an idea for people that are going lower lean meat to keep, you know, their, or to get their weight off quicker. But definitely if you want to have it this way, just have it like that and then don't eat it for a while. That's what I recommend. If you want a heavier fat one day, it is okay. Just don't do that every day. I can have it a little more often because I'm in maintenance mode. And when you're in maintenance mode, you can have more fat because it just keeps you at the same weight. So that's okay. But, um, the, uh, the, um, what was I going to say? But. I still don't eat a lot of heavy meats. Um, when I do these videos, I'm only doing like two a week. So when you see a little bit of heavier meat and then you might see another video with heavier meat too, I'm doing one, maybe two heavy meats a week or whatever. And then the rest of the week, I'm doing chicken and fish and turkey and stuff like that. So even I still keep my meats low because I don't want all that heavy fat. I just don't, and I don't need it. So let's cut into this pepper. Yum. I explain in the video at the end, like I've done before, I explain, look at that. Oh, let me put it up there for you guys. Look at the steam come off of that. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh my God, so yummy. Um, I explained in the video how to make it. It cooks for um, total, I think it is like uh, 50 minutes total. So, cause you wanna make sure that pepper's cooked. I show you in the beginning, you wanna cook your pepper first um, all by itself in the oven in water while you're cooking your steak and you know preparing your cauliflowered rice. Well, that just goes in the microwave. Um, but some people make homemade. So I'm just going to mix all this together here. Oh, this looks good. And look, there's plenty of food here when you cut into this. So, um, but I do explain that way you get the pepper going and because peppers take a little longer to cook. So that way you're cooking it in the water covered in a pan at 400. And um, while you're cooking everything up, then you're going to stuff it and cook it for another, uh, that's about 15 minutes and you cook it for another, uh, what, let's see, 35, 45, 50. So you're going to cook it for another like 30 minutes. Then you're going to pull it out, put the cheese on for another five minutes. That's what makes it around 50 minutes total. Look at this. Look at how much food is on my plate here. Yum. Even though that pepper wasn't real big. Can you believe all of this is only seven carbs? Again, another meal that I can't see somebody saying, yeah, I can't do keto. I couldn't eat that. No way I couldn't eat it. Yes, I've replaced the pepper for the, you know, or replaced and have the pepper instead of bread for a Philly steak and cheese, but lots of people love stuffed peppers different ways. So, hey, you know what? Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I don't know anybody that wouldn't eat this. Maybe a kid if they don't like peppers, but that's okay. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Yum. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I knew I was going to like this because I love Philly steak and cheese. I've just never done the idea because I never, like I said, I kept mine so simple. Didn't think of these ideas, but so excited to be sharing all this with you guys. Also, another thing I wanted to share with you guys, and I always like to share cool things in my video that I learned um, or that I know, is green pepper and sauerkraut are very high in vitamin C. You definitely need vitamin C. We all need the vitamin C, and we wonder how we're going to get it because we can't have orange juice, and we can't really have a lot of things that are, you know, that are citrus. Citrus. We can't have a lot of that. So. I found out that actually peppers and sauerkraut are very high in vitamin C. If you had just a half a cup of sauerkraut a day, and I hope I said sauerkraut, it was sauerkraut and peppers. If you had a half a cup of sauerkraut a day, that would be all the vitamin C you need. So, or if you don't like sauerkraut, you can do a pepper. So maybe, you know, do a pepper a few times a week or whatever, just to be able to get that in. Great way to get your vitamin C in. So look at that. Yum, yum. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, this is delicious. Holy moly, this is good. My husband is going to freak when he gets home. This will be one he's going to absolutely love because he loves Philly steak and cheese. Gosh, I have just come up with some amazing meals and I'm just... Super excited. Like I'm always, I've said in some of my videos before, I'm always racking my brain of new ideas for you guys. I'm sure one day I'm going to run out of ideas, but what I'll do then is maybe make the same meat, but a different side or uh, the same side, but a different meat. So it'll always be great videos for you guys. Cause there's all, you know, they're always coming out with new things. Mm. Oh, this is so good. Mm. This is going to be one of my favorites. 
And this would be really good with chicken pieces in it. It'd be really good with ground turkey. It would still be really good. You just want to have the steak, but you'd have that meat taste for a Philly steak. Mmm. Not everybody in the world is going to like peppers. I understand that. So if you don't, then you could just do the same thing here. Just don't put the pepper then. Just don't stuff a pepper. Just make it without the pepper and have it like that. And maybe put something else in place of it. You know, you could add a little bit of tomato or you could do zucchini. You know, something that you do like. Mm. Yum. I think even a tomato would be around five carbs, four or five carbs, if you wanted to stuff a tomato in the oven. So, oh, this is good. And it's seasoned just perfect. Like I said, I use a little bit of seasoned salt, just a little bit. And then I used onion and garlic powder. And some, after everything was made, the mixture before I stuffed it in the pepper, I put a, about a pat of butter just to give it a little bit more flavor. And um, I did, a, at the very end, I added a little bit of pepper on top. Mm. This little boy in here is Danny, how do you say his last name, Pin, Pintoro? I, I'm not sure how you say his last name or whatever, but he's the one that was from um, uh, Who's the Boss with Alyssa Milano. He was the little brother. He was very young in this one, but he was around the same age when they were doing Who's the Boss. So, Anybody remember that, that show? I used to love that TV show. I love that they have come back out with Roseanne. Roseanne was my favorite TV show to watch. I have watched every episode, every season, over and over and over. It reminds me so much of my family growing up. My dad was a larger guy like Dan in the show and was funny like him. And my dad also was a singer and played guitar. So that reminded me of my dad. My mom was so much like Roseanne. My mom was shorter and on the heavier side too and dark hair like her and just her personality is so much like Roseanne. And then there was the three living at home. I do have a total of five brothers and I'm the only girl, but um, they were my half brothers. So they didn't live there. So it was me and um, my uh, younger brothers. And it was two boys and one girl, but in the show, it's two girls and one boy, but it's still just, it's like, it was like us all the way. I definitely would have been more like Becky, more the, you know, prima donna, fixing my hair, always girly, girly. And then um, uh, the youngest one in there would have been my younger brother. And then of course the other one was a girl. So you can't compare that to my brother, but it just, that family reminds me so much of my family. And then I love that they came back out with the shows. I love it. I'm so excited. They're so fun to watch with everybody in it and still have the same people. I just want to make sure I chew that steak good before I open my mouth and start talking. Um, the only thing that I'm confused on is if you ever watch Roseanne, the last season, the last show, she talks about that Dan had had a heart attack throughout the season or whatever and that she showed that he lived, but he actually he had he had died. So they, she talks about the end that he actually had died, and I'm confused that they have Dan in it. They do talk about that. They just decided to bring him back. I don't know why, but it kind of confuses the show because he's not supposed to be alive. I don't know. But I'm still glad he's in there because I love uh, John Goodman. Just an awesome show. But it makes me feel old because Darlene and Becky are like my age now in their 40s, and it just seems so weird to see that. You know, just makes you think how fast time goes. Mmm, this is so bad. But yeah, I hear so many people say, no, I can't do keto when they hear about it because of everything you have to give up, the grains and all grains and all sugar. 
And so they say, oh gosh, I could never do that. But if they could sit down and watch videos like this of people showing keto meals, and that's why you guys are getting excited about it because the foods are phenomenal on this diet, what we can eat. It's not a low fat diet where everything tastes like cardboard. It tastes so good because we can have higher fats. But I've taught you, if you do have fat in your body, you don't have to have the higher fats until you've reached you know, a smaller amount of weight or fat on your body. But you can still have something like this, just don't eat it often, you know. But anyways, um, you know, you sit there and, and I was one that said, oh, I couldn't do this diet, you know, like in the beginning when I didn't see even see the meals like this. But I would say, oh, I can't do it. I can't give up my bread and my sweets or whatever. I wasn't a big sweet eater, but like my chips and stuff like that I loved. But as I started hearing about it and, and doing the diet, I loved it. I will never go back. I was t um, watching that doctor I watch and he was saying, when you do keto, the longer you go, you don't miss carbs anymore. Your body runs so good and so much energy and the foods are so good that you just don't miss it. You don't. And I thought I was going to miss it, but I don't. When I do have a cheat day and I eat some bread or something like that, I literally get nauseous from it. Like I do. I really do. I get nauseous from it. But, you know, it's a diet that I think so many people are doing now because it is such an easy way to do. It's not even a diet. Everybody, it's a way of life. Everyone understand that. But it isn't a diet. Like, it's just so good, the foods, you know? I hear so many people say, oh, no, I couldn't do that diet. I can't give up, all, you know, my bread and stuff. I love it too much. I say this. Don't knock it till you try it, because you might enjoy it. And remember, your life should mean more to you than food. It really should. What if you were from the Bible time? You wouldn't have been able to eat cake and candy and donuts and all those fancy breads and chips and everything they make, there wouldn't have even been that for you to eat. So think about that. Mm. Oh my God, this is so good. I, I know definitely my good friend Monica and her husband Dave will really love this one. I know they love onions and peppers, so I know they will enjoy this. Um, I know her husband really likes chicken, she said, so you could replace it and do chicken. Right? Then it wouldn't be a Philly steak and cheese, right? Mmm. <laughs> Boy, this is filling, too. I'm getting so full already. I got quite a bit left. Also, there's my green in there because I'm having green pepper. So that's good. Got my green in and my vitamin C. Never did I know that because I learn as I go too. I didn't know that green pepper and just a green pepper or just a half a cup of sauerkraut has more vitamin C than your than a body even needs. If you did that every day, you'd have enough vitamin C in you. So that's why I try to teach people... It's very good to take a multivitamin, I do, but also you can get a lot of your vitamins in the foods you eat, and you're supposed to eat lots of veggies on this diet, six to ten servings a day. And I know you say, but all the veggies that you're eating, <clears throat> six to ten servings would be so high in carb. But remember, do net carb, and... um Do net carb or whatever, and do lower, lower things that are lower anyway. Spinach is really low. Um, broccoli is really low. Carb is pretty, or um, kale is pretty low. Do stuff that is lower in carb so you don't have to worry about it. And um, do at least six a day because you don't want to have intestinal problems. And you don't want to get gout. So it's important. If you're a person that doesn't like to eat veggies, then keto is not for you. Okay? That's just not. You need your veggies. Even if you're a person that only likes broccoli and maybe one other thing, peppers, or only likes the kale and <clears throat> one other thing, that's fine as long as you are eating that. You can eat broccoli every day. So, but you got to get it in. You can skip a day or two in between if you had to. Like, even I've had days where I couldn't afford it and I was out of it. So, <clears throat> I had to live on what I had. But the second I could, I got my veggies back. And I'm really good about stocking up on frozen veggies because, like, broccoli is 98 cents. Stock up on those. Get tons of them and throw them in your freezer for in-between days like that. Mm. 
so yummy. You can come up with your own different ways, too, of stuffing a pepper. I just thought Philly steak and cheese sounded so good. But... I have done the tomato paste way with using pizza sauce. Very little, but pizza sauce. I have done it with, um, and I did it with hamburger. I have done it with, um, uh, what's it called? Um, Alfredo sauce and ground turkey one time. I did it like that. So there's different ways to stuff a pepper. Bite. Oh, I'm full. <laughs> mm. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Yum. Oh, that was good. And I'm going to take my one a day multivitamin. I'll do that after I eat. That's what that alarm is that goes off. Always important to take your vitamin on with, you know, on a full tummy. So, but anyways, people, that was like so good. Like that and the um, cheese shell tacos are two of my really favorites right now. I really love them. Um, higher fat ones, but they can be made lower fat by making the shell, uh, the cheese shell with mozzarella cheese and having ground turkey instead of hamburger. And then this can be made with chicken or um, ground turkey and keeping the mozzarella cheese and skip the butter. So... But I will show you the photos at the end, and um, you'll see how you make it. And, of course, I always list down in the box all the ingredients, too, and what you need to do. So let's get going on this movie now. So we're at the very beginning of the movie. He was chasing a bunny, and he chased the bunny into this hole, and it was a bat that bit him. That's what it was. And, of course, that caused rabies. See, they're freaking out because he's so loud barking in that hole. See, he sees that bunny. See, it just bit him. Ouch. See, they're having problems with their marriage. Here's that body shop now he found, that farm. sees the dog for the first time and the dog isn't affected yet but the mom was a little scared because the dog's so big there he's not possessed yet so the kid really likes him there's where the bite is this noise is starting to affect the dog now actually cheating on her husband. Okay. 
you tell me why? I don't know. I got this terrific husband and this terrific kid, and here I am screwed around with the local stud. No offense intended. Here's where the dog is really starting to get mean now. That's his one of you know the owners of the dog, the, the boy. So he's heading out here because of their problems. See, they're talking about the car needs to be fixed, the Pinto. Well, I'll see you. So here's where the dog attacks somebody. God, I would be definitely afraid. See, the dog just went mad. He just found his friend or whoever that is dead from the dog. There's the owner and the dog comes after him. That's why the owner wasn't there at the farm. So they made it to the farm. It's stalled there. The owner's dead. Husband doesn't know they're, you know, they're there. Be well, he knows they were going there, but he doesn't know what day because he's gone. And there's their first encounter with the dog. got the car started and they're trying to leave and the little boy was so happy about that but then it stops again it's the alternator The husband is trying to call home, and of course he can't get a hold of her, because she's gone. Stuck at that farm. It's nighttime now, and they're stuck in the car, and she cannot get to that phone that's ringing. And that ringing bothers the dog so bad. There's another part where the phone's ringing. This is the next morning, and it just makes that dog freak out, the noise. Sad, too, they got nothing to drink in the car or nothing, and it's really hot. Look at how bad she's sweating. And then you see the little boy. Aww. It's not a very good spot to be in. They gotta get some fluid in them. So she knows that she needs to get some help a phone, get some liquid for the boy, something. So she got out of the car, shut the car. She has no idea where the dog is. But she has to try to do something to save her little boy. Oh God, it's right behind her. Oh, 
so she was able to get back in the car after being attacked. This is their second day now there, two full days. Went through the night and it's morning again. He's having a seizure. Oh. Dad! 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 Dad, wake up! So here a cop shows out, out at the farm. One mean dog. So she just sees that her son is just too weak. She has got to get out of the car and get in the house. She has to. She's got to save her son. So somehow she was able to get the little boy into the house and she's trying to save him right now. She was doing mouth to mouth. She got the dog down somehow or thought she killed him. She had to fight him though. And right here is so scary. All righty, all done with this keto mukbang and movie. Left you guys in suspense on that one. Definitely check that movie out if you haven't seen it. You got to see that ending. And come on, what an awesome seven-carb mukbang. Philly cheese and steak stuffed peppers. Yum. That was so good. I'm definitely going to make that one again. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos as much as I enjoy making the foods and eating them. They're so yummy. And I love each and every one of you for all your love and support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification so you don't miss any videos like that. And I'd really appreciate it if you share around my channel so I can help so many more people get healthy. I love you all very much. God bless. Take care and good night. Say good night, Minnie. Minnie.